Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your April 1st through April 8th weekly reading. We're just going to see whatever comes up. This is for Virgo. Six of Pentacles, give and take, getting what you deserve. This is a card of equality. This is also about generosity. You could be receiving some money. Some, some kind of money could be coming in. Three of Swords, the Devil, Temptation, Tempted, somebody is suffering. And may be tempted to look in a different direction. You're being called to fight for what you deserve. Fight for what you deserve, Virgo. Stand up for what you deserve. Unexpected choice in love. You may have a choice between two people. There may be somebody that, I mean, you may be in a contract with somebody and now you are tempted by somebody else but you don't you don't want to hurt anybody in the process this is the lovers card this is the devil card and this is the empress card okay this is about soul searching growth compassion an unconditional love. Yeah, many of you are in a commitment right now, but you don't want to be. Okay, commitment, unexpected choice in love, in which you are tempted. Okay, you're tempted, but you're in a commitment now, and you're tempted to, you know, look outside of it, but you don't want to hurt somebody in the past. I mean, you don't want to hurt somebody, whoever it is that you're with now. Okay. So I feel like you are being called to fight for what you deserve, to stand up for what you deserve, to bring contentment back to your back to your soul, okay? Because this soul. Here we have the tower, okay? This this is a this is a disruption that is needed. Okay? This disruption is needed so that you can get what you deserve, okay? This disruption is needed so that you can have the love that you deserve. This is a gift from the universe, and when it happens, you may not see it as a gift from the universe. But this is the universe saying, I, I'm here to help you, Virgo. I'm here to help you. Okay, so this is divinely guided as well. These are divinely guided changes that are forcing growth upon you. And you may not want to hear that. But if you look at all these black cards, that's divine guidance. They're universally guided. Those are major arcanas, and major arcanas are universal change. That means that the universe, spirit world, whatever you want to call it, is orchestrating these changes. And it's basically out of your control. Okay, this is destined to happen, all right, and that's why the tower is here. The tower is a blessing in disguise given to you from above, okay? So when the tower comes out in a reading, it's like, okay, somebody isn't taking action. 
They're not going for what they want, so we're going to give them the nudge, okay? So whatever is happening here this week or in the very near future, because timing is fluid, whatever is happening is going to probably feel like a loss. The suffering that you have been going through is actually growth. Suffering brings growth, okay? And that is one of the meanings of the Three of Swords. This is true suffering that brings growth, okay? So we have a lot of growth here. You guys have been evolving, okay? You've been changing. And now there is an unexpected choice in love. And although you are probably stuck in a predicament that you are unable to move out of, the universe is here to say, okay, it's time to restore harmony. It's time to restore peace. It's time for you to go after what you deserve and to follow the divine plan. But you are unable to follow the divine plan because you have regrets, okay? You have regrets. And I feel as though you are being pushed to accept this growth as it is and to follow your own path, okay? Now, this is card is also a choice, okay? This is an unexpected choice in love, and this is a choice between two people. I think what this card usually means for me is that you are with somebody now, or you're thinking, of, you're thinking that this partner that I'm talking about is one person, but it's actually another person. You have a choice between two people, and that's what I see. And I feel like many of them, you are in a commitment with somebody now and you are tempted by somebody else that you have a really strong bond with, okay? This is a bond that is undeniable. There's a magnetic attraction. There's a lot of lust. There's probably a karmic bond with this other person that you are wanting to be with, okay? And the universe wants you to fulfill this karmic debt, but you are unable to make a move, okay? So it feels like they are going to help you make the move with this disruption tower moment, okay? What's happening here is this is protection. They are actually protecting you because you're not taking action, okay? This is also wish fulfillment. They want you to fulfill your wish in love, but you are unable to accept this growth as it is. Okay, and to fight for what you deserve since you're not putting up the fight, since you're not moving, you're not doing anything about it. That's why the tower is here. The tower is here to enforce this growth that you so much desire. Okay, you desire this growth, you desire this rebirth, you desire this re renewal, but you're not taking any action. So I feel like this is a week where the universe steps in and says, gives you that little push, that little push, that little push, or a big push, okay? Because the tower can be something big or something small, okay? They come in to break up a false foundation that is no longer stable, okay? And what they are doing and what has been going on or what, what's, what you've been ignoring is that Change is a blessing in disguise, okay? It really is. Change is a blessing in disguise. I feel as though this tower is coming in to fulfill your wishes and bring love, peace, and harmony back to your life. That's what I see, Virgo. Because you have been unable to fight for what you deserve because you're committed to something. Which is, you know, you got to do what you got to do, right? If you're made a commitment, you made a commitment, right? But we change. We evolve. This is the past. Unable to fight. You have to stand up. You have to fight for what you deserve. And the present is now you're suffering. You're suffering. You're suffering in silence. But you're growing at the same time. This suffering is bringing you growth. And you have to make a choice sooner or later, someday, about this, this love, this seduction, this could-be soulmate, bond, karmic, lover, that you are so much dreaming about and wishing for. That's what's going on now. So, future. This temptation is going to increase Because the universe wants 
change. They want you to love yourself enough to take action. They want you to follow your soul's journey. They want you to be your own advocate. So anyway, I feel as though there is a rebirth upon you, a renewal, and a temptation that is undeniable, and the universe is here to help you follow your soul's journey, answer your prayers, okay? So be prepared for some sort of event or moment that leads you into temptation. Further than you already are right now. I think there's an undeniable soulmate connection here that you're trying to deny. And you're suffering by denying it. And the universe sees you're suffering and they're saying, no, no, no. You deserve more than this. Vulnerability. This is confirmation that you're seeking to tread into the unknown, unfamiliar territory where decisions are based more on intuition than rationality. Don't let fear hold you back or allow a misguided sense that feeling vulnerable is somehow a negative condition. It's not a negative condition. You have evolved. Follow your heart. Like she does. Her heart drives her. And that's why she's here. Talk to you later, Virgo.